Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech No-Code tutorial. I'm Tom Nasser, the Automation Alchemist, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use the repeater module in make.com, formerly known as Integramat. Let's get started. The repeater module lets you repeat actions in your scenario as many times as you specify. Essentially, it's a tool for building loops in your scenarios. This could be useful for sending out repeated reminders, creating several similar pieces of data, or any other situation where you might wanna repeat an action several times. If you're looking to loop through the contents of an array or a list, you probably want to use the iterator instead. Check out our video for that function right here. Now let's set up the repeater module and see how it works. First, you'll want to build a scenario that has a trigger module and at least one action module. In our example, our scenario will run whenever it receives a webhook and will send two Slack messages. The first message will say first repeater message, while the second will say second repeater message. If we run it now, we'll see both of those messages appear in Slack just one time each. To add a repeater module, click on the green flow control icon and select repeater from the list. Place your repeater module before all of the actions you want to repeat. We'll place ours before both of the Slack modules, so both will be a part of the loop. Click on your repeater module to configure it, and you'll see two options, initial value and repeats. The initial value is the number the repeater will start at. This defaults to one, which is what you'll usually want to use. In the repeats field, you can set how many times the loop will actually repeat. The default is three, but you can choose any number you'd like. There's also one more option that you can access by clicking on advanced settings. The steps field lets you determine how much your initial value will increase each time the loop runs. If you leave your steps value at the default of one, then the repeater will generate the number one with your first repetition, the number two, your second, three, your third, and so on. But by changing the value, you could have the number increase by any amount you'd want. You could even use a negative number to subtract from your initial value with each repetition. For now, we'll just keep things simple. We'll start at one and increase by one each time with four total repetitions. We'll also add the I value from each repetition into our Slack message, just so we can see how it increases each time the loop runs. When we run the scenario, we see eight messages. Both of the Slack messages were sent four times, with the I value increasing by one each time. That covers all the basic information you need to know about the repeater module itself. But what if you want to include an action in this scenario that doesn't get repeated? There are two simple ways to add actions that only occur once. First, you can just add the action before the repeater module. Anything that's placed before the repeater in your diagram will only run once. For example, we'll add another Slack message that just says this module runs before the repeater. We'll run the automation and we can see that we got our before message only once, while the subsequent messages were still repeated as intended. Your second option is to place the action after your repeated modules and use a filter to prevent the scenario from executing the action until the repeater has completed. I'll show you what that could look like. We'll add one last Slack module at the end of our scenario and the message will simply read, this module runs after the repeater. Now, we'll add a filter right before this module. We'll give it a label that says repeater finished. In the condition section, we'll specify that the I value in the repeater must be equal to four in order for the scenario to continue. In other words, the scenario will only continue past this filter if the repeater has run four times, raising the initial I value up to four. If you've changed the initial value or step value, make sure to consider that when you're setting up a filter like this. We'll run the scenario one more time, and we can see the one before message, four repeated pairs of messages, and just one after message. Now you should be all set to start adding repeaters to your Make or Integramat scenarios. They're easy to implement, and they're a simple way to add useful loops to any of your automations. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more automation tips every week. If you'd like to learn more about no-code and low-code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check all those links in the description down below, and as always, don't forget, keep the flow.